or they just give a lot and the person appreciates it but oftentimes it's the former as opposed to the latter so that's the curse of cancers i always talk about it when i do cancer especially feminine energies in cancer Hi everyone, welcome back to No Life Time. My name is Holly, so grateful to have you all. So let's get into the reading. I was asked to do this about Margot Robbie and her husband, Tom, is it Ackerley? I believe it's Ackerley, and he's British. Um, she's Australian. I love Australian people. They're so sweet. I don't met one that I don't like, actually, which is very funny. Anyway, so let's read the chat. Um, I don't really have much to say about either of them. I don't really know. Um a lot about them so this is completely clean today usually i tell a story about if i do so that you can see if i have any biases about the situation and it's also fun to just hear personal stories but uh yeah i don't have <laughs> any personal stories about these two so her son is in cancer her moon is in scorpio and her rising is in cancer wow and i couldn't find much about him other than his son is in gemini so i think he's a very private person so he's a producer and they said he was in harry potter i love 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 harry potter so much <laughs> um yeah so let's get into the reading i think her having a lot of water in her chart is very interesting i did watch i Tanya, and apparently he produced it directed it i didn't really like it out of 10 i'd give it Five. she was great as an actress but it just seemed very choppy i suppose they were doing it during covid so it wasn't very easy um but there was another movie because it's basically about the ice skater that tried to x out the other ice skater it was just too too much for me i preferred there was another movie when i was a kid that they did about it because this situation happened before i was born yeah so I just used to watch like Hallmark movies and stuff like that about the situation. So I've seen a better version. Actually, I was wondering why they even did it. Because there have been so many versions of that story told. So, but anyways, her performance is great. The movie, not so much. So let's get into the reading. We've got past Seven of Wands, Two of Cups, and King of Cups. So it shows to me here that he, she ignited something in him. And we all have that person or people that ignite like a softer side in us and her being a cancer nurturer i think she used to, she listened to him she seems like a good listener you know i could just tell there's certain people you can just tell they listen to other people um yeah she just i get that energy from her she's very nurturing to him um i see very strongly that he came into she came into his life when he was going through something major family wise and kind of came in and and this is the cancer curse sometimes they give way too much and then it ends up coming back to bite them in the butt or they just give a lot and the person appreciates it but oftentimes it's the former as opposed to the latter so that's the curse of cancers i always talk about it when i do cancer especially feminine energies in cancer so at the present being the Emperor, Nine of Cups, and a Chariot. I see here that they might have had something, especially him. He's had difficulty overcoming his past. And I think it's led to drinking, it's led to substance issues. I say this all the time about Geminis. If you're a Gemini, if you have strong placements in Gemini, don't drink and don't do any substances that alter mental state because you already have that high vibration energetic mental state you don't need anything to do anything more for you and i see very strongly here that there's a sense of um him trying to run away from his past and i think it's affecting their relationship a lot so with the future being ten of pentacles the priestess and king of wands it seems as though he has made a few promises to her and every time she's about to leave he's like okay i'll do it 
you know and it doesn't seem very feasible for a healthy relationship um in fact i think there might have been a time when they broke up or were separated please write in the comment section i get that very strongly because that's also look at what giselle and tom brady are going through giselle punch into cancer so i think she was like i'm leaving he comes back that kind of thing if you don't do this for me i'm leaving and that's the thing about water signs you can't manipulate emotionally manipulate people to do what you want they have to do it on their own accord they have to have the will and if they don't it's okay to walk away from that situation so the boss was deck being the talent to me surprising and i think what's surprising is coming is that unfortunately i don't see them staying together um and it stems and you know it takes two people to be involved in situations but I think her need to kind of save him is not helping him. So the Hierophant, Ace of Cups, and Page of Wands. As they learn more about each other, because I feel like they didn't really know each other when they got married, if that makes any sense. They obviously knew each other, and they spent time together, and they had dated, but they didn't really have a deep understanding of one another. So the three of wands, nine of pentacles, and six of pentacles. She's going to move on and decide, hey, I'm going to focus on my work. And he's not going to be able to get over losing her for quite some time. So, because she does seem very special. Seems like the, one of those special kind of people that leaves an imprint on your life. Um, I also really like that she doesn't get involved in politics. I think it's... I always say that, but <laughs> I think it's also a thing from Australia. So, I love you all.